been fantastic. I've loved every minute of it. From the beautiful hotels, to the scenery, to the guides, to the food, it's just been a treat. When people think about Mexico, they think that everything is beaches, everything is uh, margaritas and Corona beers, but it's more. You made this trip because you want to really see the destination, because what you see, what you get in your soul when you touch and feel a destination, is going to last for you to the rest of your life. The Gate One Tour of Copper Canyon departs from Phoenix, Arizona into Mexico, where we will first stay in beautiful San Carlos. Next, we travel along the Sierra Madre Mountains, staying in the Spanish colonial cities of Alamos and El Fuerte. We then take the famous scenic train to explore the picturesque sights of Copper Canyon. Next, we head back north, stopping to learn more of the Mata Ortiz pottery and visiting the famous Paquime ruins along the way. This tour lets you experience the best of northern Mexico's rich culture and gorgeous natural scenery. The Sea of Cortes is one of the youngest seas in the world. The natural history of that place is it's wonderful. There we're going to see dolphins, we're going to see sea lions, lots of uh, bird life. If you're very interested in, in bird watching, that's paradise. Went for a boat ride this morning on the Sea of Cortez. Had a fantastic time. The water was calm. It was nice being out on the water. The formations of the rocks and the volcanic formations in that are amazing. Our hotel room there in San Carlos was, it was beautiful. We looked out over the marina. We all had rooms with balconies facing this most incredible rock formation and were able to see the rock change colors during sunrise. We went to a pearl farm. We watched them from beginning to end on how they make cultured pearls in Mexico. It's a totally amazing process, and there's so many intricate things that they do to be able to form the uh, pearls. It was a really a very educational and interesting tour. Alamos was like, if you had an ideal town you wanted to grow up in as a child. Surrounded by the mountains, the churches in the center. People have a very friendly, very slow-paced way of life. It was fabulous there. The train ride to Copper Canyon, Copper Canyon itself, it's a must uh, to see when you come to Mexico. I've always wanted to see the train and ride the train at the Copper Canyon. You go through tunnels, over high bridges, crossing rivers, doing switchbacks. It's everything you want in a train ride. When we arrived at Copper Canyon, we were absolutely amazed to see where our hotel was located. At the very edge of the cliff, overlooking this tremendous canyon. The Copper Canyon is magic. It is magic because it's not a camera. They can actually take the pictures that your eyes are seeing and what you feel in your heart. And you just want to go over there and sit down and extend your arms and say, oh, this is all mine now. There we have one of the most interesting ethnic groups of the country, the Raramuri people. We've interacted with the indigenous people. And when we were doing our hike in the canyon, these little kids were selling their mother's wares, and we bought baskets from two of them, and it's just been so much fun. And they're sweet, shy people. We had an opportunity where we got to visit a school. The most beautiful part to us was probably their smiles, but they had worked so hard on costumes and making greeting cards for each and every person on the tour. It's just added another dimension of sheer joy, really. We've been really blessed on this trip to have a lot of entertainment provided. In our colonial village of Alamos, a group of student musicians started serenading us, so that was quite good. One night they brought in dancers that did beautiful Mexican dances from the various provinces. And they played music for us and then we'd, we'd all danced. 
One thing I really enjoyed on this trip was seeing the Mata Ortiz pottery being made. They turned out so beautifully. We got to watch them get painted and fired, and then afterwards, if we wanted, we were able to buy one of the final pieces. Welcome to Mexico, gay one. Mexico! This is our fifth gate one tour. We've been lucky enough to go on about 10 different gate one adventures all over the world. This is my 24th gate one trip. We've been on 30 trips with gate one and we're planning on doing at least 30 more. We love Gate One Tours, number one for the guides. Our tour guide is showing us his love of the state and love of the people, and his knowledge is amazing. The Gate One guides pull you out and let you interact with all the local people and customs, so you get more of a fulfilling experience of what the locale is really like. He's friendly, he's knowledgeable, he makes you feel like you're part of his family. And that's another thing about Gate One, is it is a feeling of family when you travel with him. You get to meet people from different parts of the country and sometimes the world. It's, it's a, a very convivial experience. The guides, the price, the affordability, all come together to make a perfect vacation. It's a fabulous value. The hotels, the food, the entertainment, uh, you can't get a better value for your dollar. I can't plan a trip better than Gate One does. There's nothing left for you to plan except for what clothing you're bringing. I would come back to Mexico, the Copper Canyon with Gate One. I would recommend it to everybody. I think it's just a joy that they're doing these tours and I love being in Mexico. Amigos, we invite you to come to Mexico. Gate One has prepared a very interesting itinerary for us. Copper Canyon is waiting for you. So come and join us in this tour and make you feel like a traveler, not a tourist.